We have our first caller, Sanju, dialing in from Mumbai. Go ahead. Uh, hi. Hi, go ahead. Uh, my question uh, would be in two parts. Uh, first is that my mother has got the first vaccination dose, which is COVID shield, and she's going to take her second vaccination dose in a gap of seven weeks. That is, she's scheduled on the 26th. So I'm following the protocol which has been advised, like to take the second dose between six to eight weeks. Uh, uh, so my question was that once she finishes this vaccination dose and when Sputnik comes into the market, can a person who has already been vaccinated by a vaccine which is 70%, uh, having 70% efficacy, right. can then take a Sputnik vaccine which will have 90% efficacy? All right. Uh, well, uh, Dr. Gupta, would you like to take that on? So I'm, uh, I just want to re reiterate her question. So she's saying, can you take another vaccine after you've taken the second dose of the first vaccine? Essentially, yes. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that is advised. Uh, I think if you've taken a, p a particular vaccine, in your case, you took Covaxin, uh, you should stick to that for the second dose. And after that, you do not need another vaccine. That is your protection. Right. That is your immunity. So, uh, you know, percentages don't matter much in these cases. The fact that you have antibodies is the most important thing and you will be able to fight off the infection effectively right. um, with those antibodies. So your your mother has taken Covishield. She must take the second dose of Covishield and there's no need to take another vaccine that may have a higher statistic at a later date. That's an important clarification. Arpan Bose uh, is dialing in from West Bengal. Go ahead. Uh, uh, good, good afternoon, Rishika ma'am and her other respected doctors. Uh, I am Anupan Bones. Uh, I have two questions uh, for all of you and for the world also. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to uh, I want to ask that arsenic album 30, a homeopathic medicine, which had played a major role during the COVID pandemic. So uh, we can take it after taking vaccine. And um, secondly, I want to ask uh, those who have stones in kidney, they, uh, uh, what uh, COVID can uh, uh, do uh, right. with them? Uh, uh, Dr. Jain, uh, Dr. Jain? Uh, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you for your question, Mr. Bose. Uh, Dr. Jain, homeopathic medicines, can they be taken uh, or on a continued basis after vaccination? So I think the principle of treating any disease with any drug, whatever system of medicine it belongs to, has to be vetted and approved by the drug controller for use in that particular system. Now, it's not just modern medicine. All systems of medicine have to go through that. Hmm. Now, we can stake claims to anything. I must admit, I am not knowledgeable enough. I have okay. not seen any data on this. So, I would not recommend anything that I don't know about. Right. Uh, Dr. Gupta, would you like to comment on how patients with kidney stones could react if they contracted COVID? Um, I mean, you know, patients when they have comorbidities, when they have other diseases, hmm. uh, will obviously be more susceptible to a greater infection with COVID. Uh, there's no particular indication that kidney stones would cause a greater infection uh, with COVID. And I think that they should just uh, follow the same uh, principles of, of treating themselves, self-isolating, taking care, and obviously right. maintaining their own uh, symptoms and monitoring their own symptoms, sorry, and okay. making sure that they're not in need of hospital care. All right. We have uh, Prema from Pune dialing in. Go ahead. Uh, I'm calling from Pune. I have called quite a few private hospitals in Pune uh, for taking bio Bharat Biotech's uh, um, um, uh, Covaxin first jab. But they are telling that they don't have it for first dose. They have only for second um, uh, jab. But I want to know whether it is going to come in future or they are going to stop it. Or uh, year-end when they are collaborating with uh, uh, Haskin, then only they are going to um, uh, roll out. Okay. Uh, we also have Shachi Joshi from Delhi. Let's take that question and then I'll have both answered. Yeah, ma'am. Go ahead. Hello. Ask your question. Yeah. My question is that my husband is 62 years of age. He's suffering. He's having a diabetic and he's on insulin. We, he got uh, corona during uh, end November and his fever continued, very high fever, for about 14 days, ma'am. And uh, twice RT-PCR test did not detect that he's having corona. 
but after he was okay about after a month or so we felt that he is having corona because medic medication given was the same so we went for uh, uh, antibody test and antibody was so high it was around 137 okay now my question is whether he needs to go for vaccination right number 1 number 2 if at all he has to go which vaccine he should be take okay important question uh, let me first take prema's question to dr jain dr jain uh, you know the supply of covaxin if it's running short in certain hospitals as this viewer is reporting what should they do about the second dose should they wait i uh, i must admit i am not aware of any such official information that okay. we are going to run short on the covaxin as far as i have heard that they are actually going to ramp up production and they are there will be enough second doses to go around right and uh, i i do not think that the government will be so irresponsible hmm. that they will start a vaccine and without having you know the adequate numbers so i right. i don't i haven't heard anything to that effect okay so you should perhaps cross check that information as well uh, you know to our viewer you must uh, contact the nearest hospital and cross check that information dr gupta would you like to answer the question about the 52 year old diabetes patient who has very high antibody count now uh, which vaccine should he be getting if at all he should be getting one whichever vaccine is available in that area okay and he should get the vaccine get, still get, yes you should get the vaccine still antibodies uh, because of previous infection do not ensure that antibodies will remain uh, in the future uh with the new variants coming in with the different infectability of the variants it's essential that you get protected with the vaccine whichever right. vaccine is available please go and get it all right so that's uh, something that all experts have reiterated time and time again on the show thank you so much doctors for sparing your valuable time and answering our questions so very patiently